So we've already talked about how time, heat, and agitation can increase the strength of your extracts, but I wanted to do a quick visual demonstration. Imagine that this sugar cube is all of the good stuff locked inside the plant cell walls. Plant cell walls are made out of cellulose and we can't easily, well, we can't break, we don't have an enzyme to break that down. We can break it down a little bit by chewing it well, but we have to break those cell walls open. Thus, heating makes the nutrients inside the plant cell walls more bioavailable. When we're talking about medicine making, this comes into play in a few different ways. A standard maceration would be relying upon the solvent to uh, get all the stuff from inside the cell out. And it, that works, but it takes time. So we put some of our representative good things inside the cells, all of these constituents that we use medicinally. And uh, in a standard maceration, we're just going to cover it in our minstrum, our solvent, in this case water, and uh, let it sit, giving it a shake every now and then. It's going to take a while to dissolve, meaning it's going to take a while to pull all of the good stuff out. We can speed that process up a couple of different ways. So, for instance, by applying heat, we can increase what we're extracting and decrease the amount of time. So uh, this is already dissolving nicely. This one still in fairly solid cubes. And we can use agitation as well. And when you make macerations, you should shake them as often as you can to give you an idea of why that's important. Let's just take a standard maceration and add agitation to it. And uh, we have uh, dissolved and pulled into solution most of our constituents pretty quickly, whereas in our standard uh, water maceration we're still in big chunks our hot water maceration is almost entirely dissolved and we can move our menstruum past the cell walls of plants to uh, increase uh, extraction of the constituents inside the plant to demo this and we would do that using like a percolation comb to demo this you can take a few sugar cubes. And just by moving fresh, unsaturated solvent, slowly across the sugar cube, start to dissolve. We're already mostly dissolved there. The same concept is used when we make percolations. A percolation is simply a cone, normally glass, sometimes stainless steel if they're schmancy. And uh, as we'll see in our videos on how to make your own percolation cone and uh, how to pack a cone. We wouldn't use chunked material like this. We would use powdered material. But to show you how this would work, we would fill our percolation cone with solvent. Now, notice that the stuff we want is down here in the bottom, and all of this is unsaturated instrum. As we adjust our cap, or our drip valve, if we're using our bigger cones with drip valves, 
we're doing is taking this fresh, unsaturated minstrum and letting it slowly run through our constituents and uh, that fresh unsaturated minstrum is just stripping all of the constituents out of uh, the plant material. Oh wow, we already have a fair bit of dissolving going there. So we're just going to speed this up. Normally you would want one drip uh, every couple of seconds. We're going to speed this up to show you how it works. <laughs> agitated maceration is totally dissolved and the sugar is almost pulled into a solution. Our hot water is totally dissolved. We still have a couple of chunks in our cold water standard maceration. It would need more time. Anytime you want to expose more surface area and increase movement of solvent across your plant material, you can throw everything into a strong blender. And uh, we have uh, completely taken this into solution. So, as we've already talked about, there are a few great ways and easy ways to increase the potency of your extracts. Time, heat, agitation, agitation, and agitation. Thanks, see you next video.